Hello, everybody. I am going to start an interesting unit this week, and I want you to take a guess what is this image behind me. This is an amabie. What this is is an original illustration of a yokai from the 19th century. That's the Edo period of Japan. Now, this is a mythical creature and was believed to have been viewed on the southwest ocean of Japan. And it has, it's like a mermaid figure. It has scales, it has three legs and long hair and almost sort of a bird's beak. This came about during the cholera epidemic of the 19th century. So why I'm going into this history lesson? Because I want you to follow one of my favorite podcasts this week called 99% Invisible. So here it is. When you go to the website, it says Return of the Yokai. That's the same image that I have here behind me. And you see the sources cited. It's from the main library of Kyoto University. The Amabie was a symbol of good health and good fortune. And the Yokai are spirits, uh, Japanese mythology, which is akin to the religion of Shintoism. Now, during the Meiji Restoration, at the end of the Edo period in Japan, a lot of traditional culture, the uh, use of these symbols of mythological creatures, started to die down. But during the COVID-19 epidemic, this symbol, the Amabie, became a new figure of popular culture. So what we have here are typical street corners in 2020 Japan. A uh, sign saying, wash your hands, stay home, stay healthy. And this image of 200-year-old mythology has returned. So it's an interesting uh, dynamic where you have traditional culture uh, enter society, disappears, and returns. And it's also a look at how a society revisits its, uh, its traditional faith as well. So... I encourage you to take a listen to the story, and I will have a worksheet on this. And after you listen to the story, I'd like you to leave a comment on Google Classroom. So you'll learn all about yokai, amabie, and a little bit of the history of Japan, and see how it relates to our culture here in the US, and see how people from uh, your own countries have been uh, grappling with the spiritual um, element of dealing with COVID-19. All right, that is it. I can't wait to, wait to read your posts.